like I'm a bit of a hypochondriac. It used to be a lot worse. Like I used to be extremely anxious for HIV. So much that I didn't have a sex life for three years when I was in Bulgaria. But it was because I was kind of lonely and I got anxious. And then the one thing catalyzes the other because you're anxious, you don't want to go out. That's how it goes. Now I do have a sex life without anxiety, but with clarity of mind. So I used to be extremely anxious of even these mines, uranium, asbestos, like I would Google stuff and you get into a very bad state of mind. If you're anxious, don't start Googling stuff because uh, if you look for any symptom, you'll find you have this or that disease. Like Google is not your doctor, trust me on that. And up there, you go on the side of that mountain, you get to the abandoned settlement. And here already you catch the nice views of the village Lautrichkov. Like the HIV scare uh, is always bad. I've never had a risky sexual life. But if you're anxious, if you're young, you tend to be worried, overly worried about things. And then when you get older, the dust settles. Like I've dealt with a lot of stuff on my own. I've never had an STD or anything. But I've had anxiety over my health for no particularly good reason. If you struggle with anything like that, leave a comment, get in touch, because I know how to deal with uh, the struggles of life, let's say. I figured stuff out on my own, and it all turned out good. If you're anxious, you're gay, whatever, you're afraid, it's normal, and it will be fine. Uh, never beat yourself up over anything. Time to pop the bear, I guess. Oh, that tastes good. So you saw, I posted the whole Poland series on my YouTube. Poland was nice, made me grow as a person in a good way. I feel better about myself after it. I just grew through the Explorations, the days I had, guys I met, it was good for me. A lot of Polish people left comments that they enjoyed it as well. Like, I hope you like the vlogging might add nothing, might add something, but it is what I like to do. I mean, it is something to do. And it shows a different picture of the places I visit. And also it shows how you can live your life abroad and how you can live alone 
through the struggles. Uh, how you can live in the east of Europe, which for a lot of people is still scary. Well, actually, it's great. And how you can even be a gay guy and live your life openly in Bulgaria. Like, for a lot of people, that's a crazy thought. But uh, life has its possibilities, trust me. There's been several people uh, commenting from my country that they moved to Bulgaria and they work for some call center perhaps, ask me questions, but I don't always reply. Like in my videos I might seem very nice, whatever, but it's because this is a meaningful purpose to spend my time for me. I reply to most messages, but if I sense any sort of laziness, which is my kryptonite, lazy people, I don't respond, ever. There's some people who write, hey, uh, I saw your videos when I moved to Bulgaria going to work for this and this company how is it after the notice period do they pay you on time uh, can I work from home how's the corona like these are all things you can look up yourself and how am I supposed to know if I've never worked for that company like you can ask me if I worked for a company I'll respond but the minute I sense someone wants me to hand things on a platter, I don't do that. If you want to move abroad, you have to put in the work, a hundred percent. You cannot go solicit advice Like you can try, but solicit advice, well, you can easily look up stuff yourself. If you get a chance to capture the attention of someone who can offer valuable advice, don't go ask stupid stuff. ask how to deal with the bureaucracy uh, how do you feel in the society how does it treat you uh, how does the work culture differ do you feel good why do you stay so long what's the one thing you want to tell yourself if you could Talk to yourself before you moved. What's the lesson you learned? Like these things I will apply. Even if it's more work. But if it's open door questions, which do not even involve a lot of thought from the askers end, I will not reply. Look at this. If you get someone's time, ask valuable stuff. Think twice. Because time is valuable. Not like I'm some prophet of knowledge or anything. But uh, wasting time is a big no-no for me. If you want to do anything abroad, and you don't want to do particularly hard work. Tremendously hard work, don't do it. Stay in your cocoon. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Happy holidays and all the best for a new year.